Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, my name is Dion, a photographer here in New York City. I want you to guys, if you haven't done so, come over to my IG, come over to my Twitter, follow, check out my work, see what I do. Um, especially my IG if you guys are into K-pop reactions. As you can tell from the title and probably the thumbnail, we are checking out photos that Stray Kids did for their comeback, for their album, Maxident. Um, I did react to Case 143 here on YouTube, but the other two videos are on my uh, reels on IG. So please follow me on IG if you want to see um, some more K-pop reactions. Okay, so I'm super excited because when I did react to Case 143, I was just... <laughs> hype for the aesthetic, the outfits, the, everything about it, hair, makeup. And I was like, I got to do the photo shoots um, they did for it. Now, they have, from what I've seen here on Twitter, three different sets. So I will break this up into three different videos um, going over the photos from each of the sets. They have unit images, the group's broken up, and then they have group ones, and then they have solo images. So we're going to go through all of them. Get my thoughts and opinions on the images. And hopefully, I really, really want to um, learn the members of Stray Kids. Um, if you didn't know, I don't know everyone in the group. I know. And I, I've been aware of Stray Kids since their pre-debut with those like songs, Elevator and District 9. I, I knew of them. Um, I wasn't a big fan of those singles, even the ones when they did debut, what wasn't my fave. It wasn't until, you know, Miro and My Pace, that's when I was really getting straight kids. And then, you know, Guys Me You came out and then Backdoor and then ever since then Maniac. Now the new song, like they have become one of my faves and, um, I have done several and I need several photo shoot reviews on the, on, the, on this group. And it's mostly their, uh, magazine shoots. It's mostly Felix and Hugin. They, they really be out here doing photo shoots. Um, so I'm excited to actually do more concept photos. I think I've only done one maybe from Street Kids. So now we're doing three back to back to back. Now, before we get started, if there's any other concept photos that they've done in the past that I need to check out, let me know below which comeback, which album, which whatever. Let me know below and I'll get right to that because I really am into this group and I want to learn the members and I want to get to know them a bit better. So yeah, let's get started. All right, first image we have is a group teaser, a uh, unit teaser. Um, and it says the names, I know Hugin already, but the other three members, it says Lino... Han and Ian, is that how you pronounce that? Um, now, I don't know who is who with those names, so I guess I'll know when I get to the individual photos, but I absolutely love this mother-loving image. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Stunning. First of all, the framing. The slight tilt of the angle, yet everyone's still in frame obsessed i love the placement of the bodies one behind each other but you still don't lose your focus on anyone everyone seems it seems like everyone is on the same plane even though like huge is in the front everyone's in the back but they all look like they're on the same and i love that with their burning patch i love this image so much the body language how they're sitting the hair, the makeup, the smizing is so delicious. I'm into this so much. Let me zoom in. Yep. The red, the black, the white style. I just, and the chains. I don't know if you guys can see, but they have like these like necklaces as belts, which I didn't notice before. I'm pretty sure they have these outfits in the music video for Case 143. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But I never noticed the belts being a necklace. I'm here for that. Next, we have our second unit teaser photo. Okay, so I know Felix, you know, that's my bias. But I'm also standing, what's his name? Bang Chan. Bang, Bong Chong. How you pronounce his name? Bong Chong. Anyways, I love his nose. He has like a nose ring. And he'd be, he be really out here um, with the crappie crappies, with the, with the underwear showing. That's his whole thing. And like, I thought he was like... A rapper, which he probably still is. Like I, I'm not too familiar with like the units because I know that Straight Kids they do units, even solo songs on their albums and EPs and whatnot. Um, but outside the music videos, I really am not paying attention to that all the time. Even though I do listen to some of the albums, I have this recent one, the one before that. I really listen, but I've noticed that there's since I don't know the names, I'm not, I'm not sure who was who. But I know like 
there's three of members that are a part of this group. Three ra- Racha? That's the rappers, producers, rap unit, I think. I think he's in it. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, he's one of my favorites. He's probably my third favorite member, uh, you know, next to Felix and Hyojin. Um, and the other members is Changbin, which I believe is one over here. I recognize him. And then the other one is Sung Min, which I'm guessing is him in the back. Also, I love this image. Like I said before, they got these little necklaces as belts, little chain belts. I'm here for it, and I love the styling. First of all, this little dolphin heart he had on his shirt is precious. I love it. And then, like, the bejeweled on his eye. Street kids going to give you a makeup moment. That's something I've noticed. Like, obviously, all the idols wear makeup, and, like, they do smoky eyes and stuff. But, like, I feel like, I don't know, maybe because... They, they, it's a little more noticeable, maybe because sometimes the idols will wear, uh, especially Drake kids will wear like the blue contacts. The eye makeup looks more intense than your average Joe, so I'm always like, oh my goodness, they got that smoky eye. Sometimes it'd be red underneath, a brown. I'll be, I'll be peeping out that makeup and be looking so cool, and it looks so cool here. I actually really, oh, love it. All right, next image with the full group together. Now, I will say. If you didn't know, if you're new, I love a laying down shot. As a photographer, I know whenever someone lays down, everything falls back. You get the cheekbones really pronounced, and you also get like a automatically, automatically, an automatic like smize. It's almost feline like. Um, if you go to my IG, even some of my selfies when I'm laying down, my eyes look like Selena Kyle. I'm giving you Catwoman. <laughs> and right here, Hugin and Felix, especially Felix, is giving you that cat smize. And I am obsessed with it. Now, I will say, whoever placed them in the placements deserves a reward. Because we have, there's a balance. So we have three members here that are sitting up. We have a few that are laying back. And then some on their forearms. It's like a nice balance. Um, which I'm not sure if they did on purpose. Probably so. But having some members sit up like this, some on their forearms, and some laying down. I love that. I love that we're, we're getting like a different shift and everything, but there's members are doing this, some are doing this, and some are doing this. So it's, it, it, it all goes together. It all goes together. And I love this so much, especially the framing. The framing, the shooting from above downward is my kink. <laughs> I love it so much. They better work. Okay, next image. We have a solo shot. This has to be Sung Min. Um, again, I don't know all the members of Stray Kiss. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to learn it by the time I finish all three of these videos. Um, this little heart thing he has is so cool to me. There's like gradient with the chains. Um, I do like that eye makeup, the little glitter there. I do wish he was looking right at us. Like the same pose and just looking right. Because I feel like him looking, like darting his eyes over to us would just pierce our souls. We'll fall back in slow motion. That would have been so cool. But I do like this image. I like this furry hat thingy. I think the... The clothing itself is a bit understated, but I guess the hat is the same in piece. I feel like the other, mem the other members of the group have a more of an interesting outfit or a top on because of the pattern or the color of it. This one is just white with pearls or is it pearls or this chain necklace, which it's not bad. It just isn't the most compelling looking shirt. You know what I mean? Which is fine. Next image we have is Ian. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Probably... In. <laughs> um, this image here, I really like. I love the shaggy hair, that cl clasp earring he got in his ear, his heart with the puzzle pieces, the jewelry, um, this, what I think is a crop Prada shirt. I'm really into that. Um, this is a good image. This is a good image. I really like it. Next we have is Han. Ooh, wait. Oh, I thought his heart said poison, but I think it says passion. Or it's supposed to say passion. This jewelry is so gaudy. Oh my goodness. This big old jewel here in the in the in the bracelet, and then you got this necklace. It's giving Claire's. It's giving Claire's. If you know, you know. Oh my gosh. I did not notice the glitter in his eyebrows and also the thickness of his eyebrows. 
It's a serve. I cannot wait to learn the other members of Stray Kids so I can just really reference them and see them have, the, have a spotlight on them. Because sometimes when you know members of groups and not others, the ones you know are the ones that you focus on from any comeback, photo shoot, live stage, music video. You just notice them more than everyone else. And I understand that the members that I love don't always start the songs or are not always the focus in the choreography. But sometimes I forget everyone else but them and I don't like that I want to like focus on everybody you know what I mean and like he mostly him and the other guy always like start the song they're the rapping a lot so like I feel like I should focus on them some more because they are talented I just haven't got some I haven't learned them yet so like you know I haven't really given their props like I need to but I'm going to from now on next we have is Felix my boy yes um this you know he reminds me of that guy from Corpus Bride, the main character with that black hair and like the like eye bags. Obviously, he doesn't have eye bags here, but like the smoky eye makes it look like it's dreary and like creepy, timberini. And I'm kind of obsessed with it. I forgot what group did that. Was it Golden Child? There was some group who 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 dressed as Corpse Bride and the you know the groom, um, and it was so cool. But anyways, Felix. Um, wait a minute. His heart is broken. It's bleeding. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Don't bleed, Felix. Um, I like this image. It's giving me, like I said, the husband from the groom from Corpse Bride was also giving me, um, what's the Gomez from Adam's Family? I'm kind of getting that vibe, too, and I'm kind of here for it. Next member on the chopping block. Chopping block, oh, my God. Next member who's up for their solo shot is Chang Ben. He's also, is he one of the rappers too? I feel like him and Han look so similar. I always confuse the two of them. Like, I can tell them apart, like, when I see the group photo. But, like, when I see them individually, I can't tell who, who, who I'm looking at. They look so similar, which I live for. Um, I do love this all denim moment with this heart embroidery. It's a serve. A simple two-piece or onesie situation with denim is, like, fine. But, like, add that embroidery it makes it so cool in my opinion i love that and let me see his heart it got shot through and it's turning blue is it dying is it turning blue because you know the life is being drained from it because of the arrow is that what it means <gasps> next up hyojin the most biased wrecking bias ever to live because he be coming for that top spot every time every comeback oh my gosh um I do love his hair pulled back like that and the little braids in the front, his smiles, the full lips, that little earring, these hearts on the pants. That's a good touch. I'm not sure if they were made that way or they added that, you know, themselves. But I love that so much. I really like this image. And let's see his heart. His heart has a lock on it with a white wing and a black wing. Is that his dual personality? Which one will you unlock? Will you get both sides? Which one is it? I love that little metaphor, if it is one. Next we have is Bong Chan. Um, <clears throat> first of all, what's going on with him, Felix? Y'all seen that video on Twitter? I'm like, what's going on? He's on his tummy doing something, and then Felix like grabs his cheek edge, and he's like, <laughs> and he turns around, and Felix starts massaging his feet. I'm like, what's going on? And we know like there's different groupings of members, different like friendships, friendships and i guess for me i'm always pairing huge and felix together they're both my bias and bias record plus they done a handful of photo shoots together so i'm like i associate these two together however i've been seeing a lot of this member and felix a lot of my timeline chain flicks chain links whatever their their group their ship name is i've been seeing that a lot lately and i'm like what's going on here on this day if you guys know let me know Cause I'm like, um, y'all real close. <laughs> wow. So his heart is encased in some type of steel thing and it has like a bunch of chains. It looks like it's on it or like veins. Maybe he, he has a cold heart. You have to thaw this ice off his heart, break the glass maybe to get to it. Cause it's scarred. There could be veins. It could be scars. I don't know. I love that. Um, I like his outfit a lot. It's more casual looking than the rest of the members, I think, because, you know, it's like a pink and has like, you know, this airbrush dolphin heart thing on there. Um, he also slays when it comes to the makeup. Every time, it just be hitting. And, I, you know, y'all know I said earlier, I love 
his prominent nose. Oh my gosh. Every time I see him, like that nose saves my life. I want to photograph it. He has a nose ring and then like also his smile lights up the room. I've seen um, that video of him and Felix. He was like laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a precious smile. I need to photograph him now. Next we have is Lino. I cannot wait to learn all the members. Like I feel like I'm on my way. Like soon I won't have to read. I'll, I'll just know who that is. Um, I love this sweatshirt with the pink and then the red stripe at the sides. I really love that. And he has all these like brooches everywhere and these like another gaudy necklace. I like how they style this. It's very like casual, cool guy with like gaudy jewelry. It's kind of a serve. Um, his heart. Ooh. Okay, guys. No shade, but this is my least favorite heart out of all the hearts. There's jewelry on it, and it's like encased under the chair he's sitting. I don't know. It's it, it, it's not my favorite. The rest of the hearts look so cool and interesting, and like has like a story. Maybe I don't know what the story is. Diamond in the rough. I don't know. I I'm I don't know. But I like this image of this member, so it's a serve. All right, guys. This is the end. So at the end, we get to check out the images like one more time and pick out our favorite of the whole bunch. Um, I think my favorite will be the group shot of them, all the members laying down. Yep. Yep. I absolutely love this with a burning passion. It is so great to see everyone together. This, like I said, the placement, how they're positioned is genius. It may be simple, but it's also genius. And I love that. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think below. I appreciate everyone who wanted me to do to, to, to people appreciate, sorry, appreciate everyone who wanted me to do um, the, these photos, because I really wanted to, but I really wanted to see how you guys felt. You guys were like, yes, go off, go off, King, do it. So I was like, all right, I got y'all. So we're here. Um, but yeah, like I said before, let me know any other photo shoots that they've done, um, concept photos. I've, I've done a bunch of magazine shoots that Shuri Kids has, have done. I want to do more concept photos, so let me know. Let me know which ones are y'all feeling, which ones you think I might like, um, and we'll go from there. If you haven't done so, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.